All right, Thermometer Thursday. Let's get this the going. That's the cue. Thermometer yeah. Thursday. Come on. Embrace the geeking. Embrace your inner geek. Let's see it. Let's feel it. Come on, Steve. Let's harness it right now. Yeah. This is when we explore every Thursday my homemade thermometers. Take a look. Last week on Thermometer Thursday, we talked about blowing the glass to generate an adequate sized bulb. Now we need to get the alcohol down the narrow tubing to the base of the thermometer. People often assume that thermometers contain mercury, when in fact usually it's alcohol. I just use standard rubbing alcohol from the pharmacy with red food coloring. Since I'm filling the thermometer at room temperature, which is about 72 degrees, I need a rough estimate of where 72 degrees will be on this exact thermometer. Through my experience making thermometers, an appropriate level to fill this would be about 5 inches from the top. Getting the colored alcohol down the thermometer is a little more complicated than it sounds because we're working with a half millimeter diameter bore running the length of the tubing. Because it's so narrow, you can't just squirt the alcohol down the tubing. In turn, we use physics and a tube sock. I take plastic tubing and put it on the top of the thermometer. Then I use my eyedropper to put the alcohol into the plastic tubing. Now I need to swing the tube sock and thermometer rapidly in order for the centrifugal force to push the alcohol all the way down to the bottom of the thermometer. <laughs> That's how you fill it. Now we've been talking about blowing the glass, but in order to get the alcohol down the length of that tube, uh, I give about 150 to 200 revolutions yeah. to, for the standard thermometer. I'm yeah. scaring Steve. Well, I just <laughs> didn't want to get too close and get smacked with the, you know, I didn't want to break up your centrifugal force there. So that is the tube sock. Okay, uh, so uh, please don't throw your tube socks at me. <laughs> um, I'm just curious how like correct they are because it is freezing in here, and yeah. this says like 72. They do get thrown off by our studio lights. I've mm -hmm. noticed that at uh, where I worked previously in Washington D.C. But, but it's they're, not 32. They're to good to plus in or here. minus half a degree Fahrenheit. Oh, uh -huh. okay. That's, yeah, that, is, that was reading 72. Okay. Yeah, they're right. usually uh, at two degrees for studio lights that are in direct contact with the thermometer. Which is why we tell you to hang your thermometers in the shade, right? Exactly. Perfect example. And I, I do verify them in freezers and outside. And you're going to show us all that in the coming weeks? There's so much more. You know, you've got know. physics, you've got <laughs> science, you've got some craftsmanship. Yep. It's where art meets science. All right. I'm where impressed. Adam's geek comes out. You know, what I really wanted, he needs his own music, though, for the yeah. tube sock thing. Like maybe a little music. Devo. Mm -hmm. Whip it. Whip that it would be good. good. Yeah. Whip Devo, it. I think. Uh, okay. At least for the tube sock part. I could do that. All right. All right.